Hey there, Dr. Mark here, and today I'm gonna to be giving you my five best tips to show up on video so you can land more paying nutrition clients. And make sure to hang out to the end of the video for one game-changing tip from a special guest that's sure to make you magnetic on video so more people wanna buy from you. There's no better tool to reach new clients than video. It's important to remember clients don't hire nutrition coaches for their programs or their systems. They hire a coach because they see that person as someone that can help them reach their goals. But to do this, you need to get people to know you, you need to get people to like you, and people also need to trust that you're the person that can guide them to results. Sometimes this is known as no love and trust, and it's very important to build with new potential clients. And there's no better way to do that than through video. We're talking your face in front of a screen, telling people what you do, how you help, and what's in it for the client. These videos can be long or short, pre-scripted or spontaneous. They can be fun or they can be motivating, but they all work because they build connection. Take a second to think about your favorite actor or actress. You know the one you grew up idolizing or the one you wanna be? You've seen all of their work in movies or commercials, but also stuff that's more raw, like interviews and behind the scenes. The stuff they post on social media about their off-screen home life. You know what they like, things about their personalities and mannerisms. You feel like you really know them. You even know what they would say to you, but you haven't actually met them. You're able to envision everything I just described because you've seen them enough on video. Watching so much of them has allowed you to develop a relationship with them without ever having met them. You can do this too, but only if you use video. But I get it, I get it, it's not that easy. If you're anything like many nutrition coaches, doing video can be scary. Who is gonna see this? What do I even talk about? What do I do with my hands? But you are not alone. Every single Dr. Mark Method cohort, we have one nutrition coach that swears that they'll never do any video. But after giving them some direction and encouragement, they start doing it. Then they see how well it pays off and they never stop. It's that powerful. But even still, there may be some things that are getting in your way of showing up on video. So today I'm gonna to show you my five best tips to put yourself out there, but also make your videos much more effective so people wanna buy your coaching. Tip number one, try speaking to one person. Posting a video on the internet can be really daunting. You probably have a bunch of thoughts running through your head like this. Who's gonna see this? What are they gonna think about me? Do I even know what I'm talking about? All these thoughts running through your head can make it impossible to take videos and even harder to post them. This is totally normal and it will get better, but here's what helps. Focus on speaking to one person, not every single potential person that could see this video, but just one person. Speak to one person. You know that person in your life that's always trusted you, taken you seriously, and listened to everything you say? The one that seeks you out for nutrition and health information and really benefits from what you know? The one that really looks to you for advice and for what really matters for what you put in your body? That's the person you need to speak to and only that person. It makes everything so much less daunting. So when speaking into the camera, aim your message at this person. Try to speak to them and only them. It makes everything so much easier. Tip number two, what do I speak about? This is something my Dr. Mark Method clients ask me all the time. I don't even know what to talk about. What do the people that follow me need to hear? Here's the answer. The stuff you need to speak about is already all around you. What makes the best video content? The answers to questions you get asked, the things you wish you would have known before you started your fitness journey, the one to two biggest mistakes people make when trying to get leaner, the one thing that makes a muscle building plan so much more effective, what a potential client said to you and why they need to look at it differently, how you're helping current clients achieve results, plus the stuff that shows off your personality. This is the stuff you need to talk about. Nothing is really off limits, but here's a good guideline. If it's somehow related to nutrition, fitness, and the people you help, you should talk about it. The stories are already all around you. Just verbalize them and watch people reach out to you. And tip number three, start small. Just like anything else, if you try to accomplish too much when you start doing videos, you probably won't stick with it. This is just like your client. If you need to eat 200 grams of protein and you're only currently eating 80 grams, making the leap to 200 is not gonna happen. So you need something in between. The best way to do this with video is to start small. Saying something short and quick can really help you get in the groove. For example, I like the following script for people new to video. Obviously, say hello, but if they refer to themselves as something specific, like busy mom, refer to them specifically. One big mistake I see with people trying to accomplish blank, this is where you insert the measurable result that they're after, is that they're always doing blank. Here's what to do instead and this is where you provide the solution. If this sounds like something you need help with, send me a message and I'll send you some strategies about how you can achieve blank. And again, this is where you tie it back in with the result, the thing that they're really after. Super simple and effective. Now, how do you actually get it up on the internet? Here's the easiest way to record on something like Instagram story. Go to add a story and click on the hands-free section and hold down on record. The three second timer will go down and you'll be able to record four 15 second clips. These can be posted right to your stories and you can also add text and captions as well. Start with these and build some confidence before moving on to live videos and longer videos content. Which brings me to my next point, tip number four, set a take limit. It's normal to want to do things right. This means not stuttering or messing up words, making sure everything you say makes sense and is correct. You're only doing all of this because you don't want to look silly. And that's because you care. 
I get that. But this level of perfectionism will actually get in the way of you posting more videos. So instead of spending time doing take after take, making sure that it's perfect, you need to set a take limit or a deadline. Say you want to create a video on something. It's not likely you'll say what you want on your first take, unless it's a live video. In that case, you have no choice, which is an advantage. But if you're doing takes, chances are you'll say something you don't like or something that doesn't make sense or say something that you didn't mean, but you can't spend hours doing this stuff. At that point, it's just not worth your time. If you don't get it right in the first three tries, you only get one more chance. But guess what? Good and done is always better than perfect. Sometimes the take limit isn't the best strategy, but a time limit is. For example, I have the next 10 minutes to get a video up. This gives you a chance to do some practice, get it to the point where you like what you're saying, and then post up something good without it taking too much of your time. If you follow me on social media, you might think, oh, Dr. Mark, you're a natural at this. This comes so easy for you. A few short years ago, this was not the case. Even though I could speak in lecture halls in front of hundreds of people, the thought of filming myself and posting it for anyone to see was mortifying. It would take me hours to record a simple video, and even then I might not not even posted. I had no consistency and I never got better. Finally, enough was enough. I knew this was the hole in my business. I needed to start working in my strategy. So I started making videos, setting a take limit and started posting those videos. And over time I got much better and this helped me make more money and have more impact and work with more people. You need to start doing it. You need to start doing it now. If you want to get better at video, you need to become the master at good and done. But you also need to make sure you're talking to the right person, which brings me to my last tip. And tip five, speak to your clients level, not your peers. This is one thing that nutrition coaches are doing in video that they're messing up big time. They're talking about elaborate and advanced concepts that are important to them, but they're not important to their clients. This is usually to impress other coaches and to seem smart, but all it really does is distance the coach from the person they're trying to help. How do you solve this? You need to speak to the level of your client and in words they can understand. Most coaches think they're speaking at a university level and maybe they need to bring it down to high school. No, you need to bring it down to primary. Without being condescending, you need to speak to these people at a grade school level. Here's what you want and how you get it. And in simple terms, anything too complicated just attracts the wrong people, namely other coaches who aren't going to hire you. This is actually a good reason why most new Dr. Mark Method nutrition coaches actually build the best businesses, especially when compared to more experienced coaches that know way too much about what they don't know and make things way too complicated. Use this to your advantage. Since most nutrition coaches aren't research scientists, this is the way you need to approach video. This is my experience and I don't know everything. This is something that's worked for me and I'm hopeful it'll work for you too. This is a very authentic approach and lands very well with the people you're trying to attract. Make sure to speak to the level of your clients and not your peers and more of the right people will want to buy from you. Now, one thing we haven't talked about yet is how to show up on camera to be more likable. I'm excited to introduce my friend, Laura Magitano, who's an expert on charisma. Yeah, that's right, the science of being charming. So listen to her if you wanna show up on video in a way that makes you more likable, more personable, so that more people wanna buy from you. Here's how to become instantly more charismatic on video. You wanna start by bringing your full presence to your video. Look directly at the lens, not at yourself, not at your notes, and speak directly to your one person. Then balance your warmth and competence. So if you start by saying, hi friend, couple that with some achievement oriented words like win or goals or success. Because if you bring too much warmth, you'll come across as likable, but not memorable, and certainly not an authority or expert in your field that people wanna buy. But if you bring too much competence and not enough warmth, you won't build that emotional connection that makes sales. The goal here is to choose your words, hand gestures, and tone of voice to balance warmth and competence. Add your full presence to that and you're well on your way to authority, connection, and charisma. How helpful was that? Make sure to thank Laura in the comments below for sharing her insight. And that's it for today, folks. Video is the best way to get more paying nutrition clients. It's literally the future of business, so get comfortable on camera today. Now, as great as all these tips are, if you're really serious Serious about starting an online nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I have linked up right here on the best way to start an online nutrition coaching business in 2022. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the next video.